Hey everyone, I have Peter Jansek here with me today from Operative Intelligence. He's going to be sharing a little bit more about himself, his working together on the B2B lead machines, his results, and a little bit more about his business and who he helps. So thanks so much for joining us today, Peter. My pleasure. Happy to be here, Ryan. Thank you. Awesome. Well, can you start by telling us a little bit about uh, your business and who you help? Sure. So um, Operative Intelligence is a new insight solution for contact centres. Um, what we do is we help them get to uh, the real reasons why their customers are calling, specifically the root cause of why customers make contact. Um, and we help them understand in a really easy to understand way, um, what are all of the things that they can do to systematically improve their customer experience, um, people performance and operational efficiency. Um, we launched in January of uh, 2020 um, and we're headquartered in Los Angeles in the US and Melbourne, Australia. Awesome, awesome. Aussie company making it big in the US, hey? That's, that's the plan. Sweet, that's what I like to hear. Cool, and how did you first hear about, um, I guess, us, b2bleads.com? Um, well, LinkedIn, of course. Uh, I think you, you <laughs> actually reached out to, to my um, co-founder, James, and um, he thought it was worth having a conversation. We'd, we'd been having some um, discussions in kind of the, the, the weeks and months leading up to you getting in contact. So um, yeah, it was, it was great timing and uh, that's where it all started. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's quite interesting. Like oftentimes, um, I mean, most of my clients I do meet on LinkedIn and they often say, you know, I get these messages all the time, but for some reason I just paid attention this time around. So I think I was just lucky with James that time around, got him at the right time and, and yeah, and then here we are. <laughs> Yeah, well, look, I, I think I probably get about 15 LinkedIn requests a day. Um, and I, I still think looking back, if I'd got your message um, versus James, I probably would have responded because your, 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 your messaging did stand out. I remember kind of reviewing what you, what you asked James about. So um, kind of just, just props to you there. Awesome. Well, that's fantastic to hear. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> and um, I guess before starting working together, what was what was your situation? I know you'd been trying um, cold email outreach and cold calling as well. Yeah, so we started, um, as I mentioned, at, at the start of last year, which was pre-pandemic. We, we signed up our first customer in the US in all of about five minutes. You know, so um, our thought kind of going into the to the year was, we're just going to absolutely crush it with sales. Um, all of our sales are going to be as easy as the first one. Um, but what we kind of found was uh, we, we went after um, cold emailing and, and cold calling as our kind of primary um, way to engage prospects and get them to have a conversation with us. Um, to cut a long story short, it was just a lot of work, um, you know, identifying the prospects, accessing their information, programming CRMs, like executing all of that um, was just, it took a long time. It was very tedious. Um, and ultimately it was just very low yield, you know, out of all of that work over a period of six months, um, I think we probably netted on average like one booking a month, um, you know, which for us and just the way that the sales funnel works wasn't sufficient. And ultimately we're in a situation where we just couldn't consistently build pipeline where we're having kind of consistent conversations with with prospects and getting them to a point where they were going to um you know become a customer of ours yeah and i guess by comparison to the work that we've done together i mean it's 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 really kind of night and day to be honest um you know i think with the the b2b leads program and kind of leveraging the tools uh, it's probably a 95 percent reduction just in terms of manual um, administration, you know, everything from setup to, to maintenance, um, you know, most importantly, within the first week of launching um, on the B2B leads program, we, we had pipeline, you know, I think we had um, something to the tune of like a 10% response rate, um, we were able to get out to a lot more prospects, like instantly, essentially, there was no kind of handoff or delay, we were waiting to kind of figure out how we're going to reach um, those certain individuals. Um, and uh, ultimately, within the first two weeks of, um, of uh, using the, the, the B2B leads program, not only did we have pipeline and we're having consistent conversations with customers, but we actually landed um, our first customer, um, who's kind of one of our 
our landmark customers here in the US um, that we've got uh, a kind of a big a big uh, partnership with um, in 2021 and, and moving forward as well. So that was just an, an awesome an awesome result. Sweet, that's fantastic. Remember, you were saying you've gotten some um pretty big leads as well, like um someone at Samsung was it or there were some um I know there were some maybe we maybe we can't mention them here, but I know you mentioned there were some big multi billion dollar type executives and stuff you're you're getting in on calls with yeah we've had we've had really phenomenal access to um i mean very very large kind of multi-billion dollar um revenue companies that is so not kind of just assets under management um where we're essentially speaking with the the decision maker or step below a decision maker so um in terms of access um quality of leads it's been phenomenal um the reality is that now that we've we've kind of um growing our customer base and having more of these conversations, you know, we've really identified that these people are kind of getting hit with our buyer group between, you know, 300 to 500 emails a day. So being able to kind of reach them in a channel where they're active, they're listening and they're engaging was just, um, you know, super critical for us and will really kind of set us up for, you know, success longer term, being able to, to get in front of these types of people, um, not only in terms of connecting with them, but having them as a part of our, our network and our audience as we're able to showcase the work that we're doing with, with existing customers to prospects. Yeah, awesome. And, and what I was going to ask as well is, is what, I mean, these people are getting hit from every angle. What is it that you think helped you guys stand out from everyone else? Um, I think there was just kind of a, a big part of your your the B2B leads course that I wasn't expecting, which really got into kind of the psychology of sales um, and the the types of um, you know, I guess flags or, or proof points or the way that you present yourself was really, really critical. So um, for us and to answer your question, I think it was a couple of things. Um, I think one thing was, the kind of the clarity and the the um, the clarity of the messaging um, and, and the tone of the messaging was really important. Um, not only has it stood out, it's like it, that's been said to me multiple times. Like your message really jumped out at me. I've also been complimented on the the sales style as well as being kind of not pushy, which I think people engage with. Um, I think in addition to the messaging, which was something that I was kind of concerned about before starting the program, how we would be able to really kind of boil that down to some key value propositions and, and um, kind of lead hooks or points um, was just kind of building up the profile. So um, in a number of instances before I've even messaged someone um, as a part of the outreach, uh, they'll actually proactively reach out after the connection request and say, hey, I checked out your company. I'd love to have a conversation. And that's purely because we've built up the profile to essentially be like a marketing one pager on what it is we do, how we can help folks. Um, so I think just the combination of those kind of simple things, but doing it the right way and in an authentic way that kind of touches on customer problems has really allowed us to, um, to get traction with these, these prospects and, and customers that we're, we're working with. Yeah. And, and, and what I really love about what you guys are doing is, is it is very, you know, the problem that you solve, and you're very, you know, you, you understand it and you have a good, strong offer. So, I mean, for anyone watching this video, I recommend checking out Peter's company, having a look, because it's a great example of, you know, what to do right. And it's also a great company, so definitely worth checking out as well. And, and if you know anyone, then to, to share and um, tell them about operative intelligence too, of course. Yeah, thank, thanks, Ryan. Look, I think everyone that's ever called the contact center, whether it's your bank or insurance company, you, you probably find that you're navigating through an environment that makes no sense to you but makes a lot of sense to those internal people and that's really the the shift that we're trying to to drive to make those types of operations and and businesses really kind of designed around the needs of what customers are asking them to do um, so that it's easier for customers um, it's more efficient for the business which means kind of happier people um, but yeah appreciate the appreciate the the, the feedback on on, our, on operative intelligence no worries happy to um, I guess final question is, what would you say to anyone thinking about joining the B2B Lead Machine program? I'd say just, just go for it. If, if you've got conviction in your product or your service, um, you're, you're passionate about it, um, this is just a, a phenomenal way to help bring it to market, which um, from what we've learned is the hardest thing um, in, in, in a business. Um, we run a pretty complex technology 
product and, and organization. Um, so uh, sales, bringing in customers is one thing that a company can't live without. Um, and uh, B2B leads has been a phenomenal um, help for us and, and as well as everyone else that Ryan's working with. So definitely recommend it. Um, check out the program. There's a lot more that we learned um, as we as we kind of dug in. You know, you'll learn not only um, about how to use some really cool tools that Ryan's developed, but um, how to get your mindset right, um, what's the way to communicate, how to think about um, sales as kind of a holistic process. So um, it's more than just outcomes. It's a lot of learning along the way that will really help your business as you're as you start hiring people and, and you're growing. So um, yeah, thanks, Ryan. It's been it's been great. No, it's a pleasure. Thanks so much, Peter. And um, yeah, it was, it was a pleasure catching up with you today. Thanks so much for sharing your experience. As always, I know you're a business owner and your time's very valuable. So thank you so much for sharing and, and joining me today. No pleasure, Ryan. Thanks so much. Happy to chat. Awesome. Thanks, Peter. Bye. Thanks, Ryan.